So here are three ways that you could wire up a house, but only two of them are safe. So let's understand why. This first drawing is what I consider to be standard electrical work. This is how I would wire up a house if I was doing it just because it's very simple. Where you have two conductor wires going from your locations, your point of use, back to the breaker panel. So you have four wires out on your runs and you have four wires coming in your breaker panel. So this to me is the simplest, but it might use the most copper. Here is how several of the circuits in my house are wired up. It uses three conductor wire. So instead of just black and white and ground, you have red, black, white, and ground. In my drawings here, I'm showing white and ground as just green because ultimately they're bonded back at the panel somewhere. This is okay, but you have to do it safely, uh, which means that you have to run your red and black wires to vertically adjacent breakers. What happens if you don't do that? Well, that's what you end up with here. Everything downstream of the panel is the same as this drawing. But in the panel, we have gone to non-vertically adjacent breakers, in this case, two that are across from each other. And this creates two dangers. One, you cannot switch these off together. In other words, you cannot use a dual pole breaker. That's what you need to do here. These two breakers are drawn as individual breakers, but really there's one lever. These need to be dual pull. The reason for that is that if these were separate, you could turn off the black hot wire. That would de-energize room two, or at least it would appear to de-energize room two. But if you were to open this octagon box, you're in a room without electricity, seemingly, but you'd open this box and you would be in contact with this shared neutral. That shared neutral is going to be carrying all the current that this red wire is back to the breaker panel. And that is where the danger comes in. So you could accidentally get shocked or worse uh, because this shared neutral is going to be live and you do not realize it. So that is why you need your adjacent breakers on a single dual pole breaker so that you have to shut both of these hot wires off because they are sharing a neutral and that would de-energize everything downstream instead of accidentally only de-energizing half of your circuit. The other risk here is that if you were to do exactly what's shown here and go to horizontally adjacent breakers or breakers that are across from each other, you would actually run the risk of overloading your neutral wire because in typical wiring you're probably using say 12 gauge wire here and you can run 20 amps through that wire now if you think about that for a minute that means you could flow up to 20 amps out on the red wire and up to 20 amps out on the black wire but there's only a single wire for that current to come back on and that's your single neutral wire so aren't you going to undoubtedly overload the neutral wire well, not if you wire the breakers correctly. So in this configuration as shown, you actually could overload the neutral wire because these horizontally adjacent breakers are what we call on the same phase. So in other words, they are going to flow electricity at the same instant. And that means that 20 amps plus 20 amps would equal up to 40 amps back on the neutral wire. If you wire your breakers like this though, on vertically adjacent breakers, then these breakers are going to be on opposite phases. Normally residences are wired with two phase electricity and those two phases do not flow at the same time. And so by having these vertically adjacent breakers on separate phases, that means that they're essentially taking turns flowing electricity. So you're gonna flow 20 amps out on the black wire and 20 amps out on the red wire, but not at the exact same instance. They're actually going to take turns where one will flow for a fraction of a second and then the other one will flow for a fraction of a second. And so at any given moment, you're only going to be flowing up to 20 amps out, which means that the single neutral wire coming back to the load center can handle that current because at any given moment, the neutral is only going to be returning up to 20 amps. And so that is why it's important to lay your breakers out as vertically adjacent and use dual pull breakers because it creates a safer working environment for any electrical work down the road. And 
it mitigates the risk of overloading the neutral going back to your breaker box.